Hello. Yes, my brother. Carl. Hello, Carl. Yes, can you hear me? Mm. So I'm on with the with Brian. Yes, and uh, Hey, yes, Carl. Hello. Yes, brother. How are you? I'm good, and you? Mm. So we are on with Brian, and we are waiting to see how we, how you use the the shared idea. Uh, okay. Mm, okay. Okay, are you all connected? Yes, we are. Okay, so okay, so um, uh, I use the Open API on one of our projects here. It's actually a project which we use to we have developed to pay tuition and exam fees in our country, in mm. Cameroon. Yeah. I'm from Cameroon, yeah. Yeah, great to know. Mm -hmm. So um, what we've done is we, we are only live, we have gone live on the Open API from MK in our country. And I'm going to I'm going to just show you I'm going to share with you the my screen so that you can see what I'm trying to do. Yep. With the with the API. Are you getting me? Yes we are. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, a minute please. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to. Can you, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, so the, the project, the project is called uh, Minisec P. So this. Is, hello. Yes, yes, we hear you. Okay, okay. So I, this is the, the project is called Minisec P. It's um for the Ministry of Second Education mm. of our country. Mm. So as was, uh, so what we do is basically <laughs> we collect tuition and exam fees. Mm. So now, so what we what we are trying to do is mm. accept mm. mobile money mm. as a major means of, of payment. You have some so, noise. You have some noise from your surrounding. Oh, is it better now? Yes, it's better. Mm. Like mm. some people around you are shouting. No, no, nobody. Maybe it's, it's okay. It's raining. That it's falling outside. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's raining outside. Okay. But it's better now. Yes, it's better. Yeah, okay, much okay. better. Okay. So, um, what we do is we you pay we you pay your the GC is a major exam that is written here. So you pay your GC exam fees, mm. and uh, you have the 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 guys of the GC board, the examination board. They give you a certain temporary ID. Which you are you getting me? Yes, yes, we are. Okay. Yes, okay, we which you enter, which you enter. Let me just say, this is the, this is an example of the temporary ID which you are given, and you you proceed. <clears throat> now, when you proceed, you we automatically from a database you get the center number and the center name of the school which. You're writing the exam mm. yes so now you select the exam type you enter your name now this is where you enter the, the amount the amount to be paid mm. yes let's see so five thousand and here you enter your automatically you enter your phone number mm. Mm. so now you can you can make you can make a let me check Let me check if the amount is okay. So let's do this. Okay, for now I'm using one. Okay, so you can press for it. 
Oh, that's great. Yeah. So the, the request has come to my phone. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I can show you that. So I'll, I'll validate it. I'll, I'll, I'll now take time about validate the, the request. Then now, so now the as I was, talk, I was uh, talking to you, uh, Simon, over uh, on Skype chat. Yes. The challenge you are having is that for it takes about two minutes mm. from the statue to change from pending to success. Mm. So we have contacted, we have contacted uh, the support team of our country, and they are not yet responding for very So that's our blocking point now to go live. Mm. So basically, that's uh, the simple use cases that we do, mm. because. If you wait maybe for two or three minutes, you're going to discover that after that the receipt will come because the, it has changed it. Mm. Let me just go to the database and um, and show you the the, 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 the okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me just show you on the database. Then I'll show you the code I wrote. Mm. Okay, so uh, exam fees. Okay, so this is this is the last one I just made, mm. and so you can see the status is still pending. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so as I told you, it takes about two minutes for that status to change from pending to, to successful, successful. After I have made the successful pending, while on the sandbox it takes just thirty seconds. So I don't understand if it's a problem or is that there's something missing. I don't get it. I think it's uh, it's the technical team of MTN that is supposed to to, to handle that. Yeah, to handle that. Exactly, mm. exactly. That's the thing too. <laughs> yeah. So, mm. so based on Brian's uh, package, I was able to come up with the different. Based on what he wrote, the the, the get token. This is the code I use I, for the get token. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then uh, this for the request payment. Mm -hmm. This is what I. Yes, based on what Brian did, I was able to understand and come up with this the code I had. This one gets me a a, a token, so a UID, the reference ID. Mm. Yes, then yeah, yeah. Mm. I use I use, Go, I use Gozu to oh. be able to get the yes. I use Gozu in Laravel to be able to to do the a request payment. I don't know if Brian is seeing it. Yes, we're seeing it. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, my internet is slow, but it will come on a little later. The audio is in sync, though. Pardon? My internet is slow, but uh, I'll get the screencast a bit later after the audio. Ah, okay, okay, okay. The internet is slow. Okay. So, uh, from here, we could get the transaction status, and then we also wrote a function to get an account, the account balance. Mm. And then the mm. last one is to... The last one is to check if the number is a mobile money number mm. or it's not a mobile money number. Mm. Yeah, so we did that. We did that inside a. a, a we called a class Momo API. Mm. Yeah, so now we we now go to our controller. At, we now go to our controller. Let me go to where. Okay, now this is it. We are initiating the the class that I have created mm. in the in the in the, in the controller. controller. Called Momo API. Yes. Okay. Then this is the phone number. Mm. Since our country code is two three seven four, so I concatenated with the telephone number. Yes. Two three seven. Sorry. Yes, I. Sorry, I concatenated. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I get the token. Mm. I get the token. Mm. Mm -hmm. I would the amount be one franc. So that's then mm. are you getting yeah then it is not the request this is this is the request payment that this is the request payment method I'm calling. Uh, uh, hello? Yes, we, we do hear you. So okay. This so is the request payment with, with the token, the telephone the number and the amount. So, so I want to understand eh? mm -hmm. uh, how you, uh, what method you use to. Did you use the route uh, when you submitted your your callback URL? Did you use the route? Did you use a special page when you submitted your callback URL to MTN? Because most people are confused about that that point. 
when they are submitting their callback URL, mm, did you submit a route? Yeah, a, a Laravel route, an API route. Did you use um, uh, did you submit to a special page? Just a URL to a special uh, page? Yes, I sum, I submitted to a special page. Let me show you the, the route mm. that I use. Mm. Uh, the route. <coughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me let me go one minute then. Let me get it for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for, uh, for me to get the response, this is what. I thought you said that it was on your mixing and stuff. Okay, let me explain to you how I get this. Hello? Yes, we li we're listening. Yes, we are. Okay, uh, okay. Now let me explain to you how I get the response from the callback URL. Mm. Okay, now so this is the get transaction, my get transaction status, yes. which I pass the 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 ref ID I got after the request payment here. Mm. Mm. Yes, and this is the token. Mm. So what so what what I do now is I come to my controller, mm. and uh, yes, I come to my controller, and I I call the the request payment. Mm. Okay. I got it. Yes. Uh, okay. Then now, for this, uh, for checking the status, you're doing it manually. Pardon. I, by getting the I, transaction ID, you get the last yes. transaction ID and you check the transaction status. Yes. Oh, exactly. Ten exactly. seconds. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, so are you doing like what they call so a pull? You don't use the call back URL. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't use. I, I don't use the call back URL. So rather you use uh -huh. uh, okay. what but you in live. Come again. Uh, Simon, go first. Uh, so what you did is you you served to the database and then you 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 did what they call a pull. You you pulled from the MTN server using the Laravel queue. Exactly. Mm. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's that's uh, that's fine. Now, so you you see, for example, that uh, it has changed to successful now. Oh, so it is now successful after the yes. two minutes. And so you can, yes, and then I can now print my receipt. Oh, so it has gone direct to the receipt. Yes, yeah, it goes when immediately it's, it's successful. It goes to the receipt page. Mm. Then I can now print my receipt and and download it. Oh, I get you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so well, on the payment, after the payment, did you try to do the redirect URL bit? Yes, after the payment, after the payment, I do an update. After the payment, I, I do mean, an update. I mean, uh, because uh, their the initial uh, proposal was that if someone pays, the mint I check out on my phone, they redirect you automatically to the redirect URL you've given. So the callback URL is your receipt page. Yes, the callback URL is my receipt page. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, that works well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Could could you share with us the because most people skip that part of the confirmation where you confirm uh, where you confirm the ID if the ID exists uh, where you saw that your ID is active. Could you share with us that that code? The plus where the place where it says I didn't get you very well. Uh, the place where you check yeah. if. If check account status. Yes, if the account. Okay, check account status. No, no, leave the status where you check if the account is active, if the mobile number is active. Okay, I'll share with the code. Yeah, it's okay. called, yeah, okay. yeah, it's mm. called account status. Mm. Okay, okay. If the mobile number is active, mm. this code, this code, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, that code. Okay, okay, I'll share with you. Mm. And, and, and then there, and, uh, there is also, uh, uh, there is also one I wanted to do. Did you this uh, get account status, your own account status? What does it return? I haven't really looked at it because I'm not in my get account status. Yeah, I understand it's supposed to get now your account status, you yours. 
instead the other one is active checks the pay then this one checks the pair this one uh, like line 130 for 132 i'm not getting very well network is disturbing i get me uh, get account balance yes line 132 okay get account balance is it yes uh -huh. And do you check okay. like account balance of you f for your app or for the customer the payee? Okay, yes. What I do is that when the account balance is not sufficient, it shows an error. It sends tells them that the account is not is not sufficient. Oh, so you're checking so the payer account for the person pay? Yes. Oh. Okay, so okay. You check first if he has enough money, then you tell him straight away you, you're not able yes. to transact. If exactly. he has enough money, then yeah. and there is also you check if he's active, you check the balance, only exactly. then you proceed. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's great sharing with us, my brother. And uh, now concerning oh. the uh, what you added in the environment, so when you went live, uh, what did you sub yes. substitute in the environment? When I went live. Okay, when, when you go live, the, they give you, because, you know, for the API key, I don't know if that's your question, but for the, 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 the API key, we use the user provisioning the sandbox. Yeah. Now, when you go live, what they do is that you, are, you they, on the platform, you can generate an API key, and they give you a user ID. Mm. That's why you, not, that's what you use in your... The user ID and API key, that's what you use in your, in your application. Oh, so they send you new ones, eh? Yes, they give you new ones for every product you have. And then the and, uh, environment. And the environment. Yeah, the environment is MTN Cameroon, for example, for me. Oh, for you, MTN Cameroon. Now, as it's MTN yes. UG. Voila, for you that you have, it should be. Mm. Yeah. For me, it's MTN so the Cameroon. So the app ID and secret are now generated from the portal. Yeah, that that generated from the portal. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let me just note down a bit. Mm. And the base URL? Come that, again. Does the base URL, the base URL change? URL. No, it, do, it, do, it doesn't. It doesn't. So the, ah, on, the only things that change are the API key, the user ID, and the environment. environment. Yes, and the environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Mm. That's let me just show you. Let me show you the the, the platform. Uh, it is the same. It's the same. It's, it's, the, the only difference is this. Oh. The URL for live is different. Yes, it's momoapi.mtn.com. Mm. Mm. Oh, it looks exactly like the other one. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it looks exactly. The only difference is uh, API. It's a sandbox. Yeah, we have an API now. Oh. oh. Okay. Yes. So that's the only difference. You see, everything is almost the same, and the only difference is that here there's no user provisioning. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, if you want to do user provisioning, you have to come back to this other portal, which they're going to give you when you go live. Mm. Uh, yes. So that's how they do it. Okay. Thank, thank you so much, my brother. This was then late fall, uh, since uh, we have even the developer of the app. Uh, okay. uh, now, uh, the greatest thing is we are also trying to interconnect with different countries in Africa, so we can know, okay. we can tell what is in Cameroon, what is in Uganda, and all we have to change. Okay, exactly. exactly. Yeah, and we are also so grateful to know that uh, you, you, you you borrowed ideas from our app, from our YouTube exactly. videos. Yeah, 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 we did. And it's grateful mm -hmm. to share with us. Great. Yeah. So I'll share you the quote. I'll share this quote. Okay, yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, and then, thanks a lot for your time. Okay, thank you very much. We we'll keep in touch. And then I'll also be posting to you my my other brothers from from West Africa. Uh, especially okay. they say that people in Cameroon you do French and those brothers of mine were not understanding. Uh, uh no, I I I speak French too. Mm, I'll do post okay. them. can help guide them. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, my brother. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, so. Bye bye. Okay, okay bye bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm.